gamers welcome to default boards a brand new series that i'm starting talking about character boards and everything that they give to the character and if that character does have their ld board release we'll discuss those as well and if you are like me you want to know what these boards do yeah sure we know that they make the characters better um but I really like to know every little detail. And before we get started, special thanks to Rem, the Decidia database, and to Tokobop, because all the information provided here was through their efforts. So, with Gilgamesh, he gets 10% or 20% attack with his big man on the bridge buff. Um, ten percent max brave and ten percent initial brave from all the buffs that he gives himself. Uh, twenty percent brave damage. Uh, twenty percent more overflow. Ten percent brave reduction and ten percent uh criticals off of his skill one. For his skill two, he gets a total of thirty percent brave damage and fifteen percent more overflow. And then with his ex. Um, he gets 10% or 15% more brave damage and 15% more overflow. And then he gets 20% uh, more damage from his brave attack plus and his HP attack plus, which is Genji, Blade, and Koetsu. Problem with Gilgamesh is his moves don't have a whole ton of hits on him. I mean, if you 3-3 three, three his EX, it does become a 9-hit AoE uh brave attack plus single target with splash which is nice and that does dish out a lot of damage but his brave hits in general on all the skills are very very lackluster now granted he does hit very hard but he's never gonna cap out on damage without a little bit of help so for kate sith with his is Skill 1 Toy Soldier, he gets 10% more attack, 10% more max brave, 10% uh, to his eye brave with the dice buff up, and his cheerful gift buff gives an extra 10% attack and 10% more brave region. Um, with his Toy Soldier skill, his skill 1, he gets a total of 30% more damage, 30% more overflow, and 10% crit which like his toy soldier was like one of the very first moves that had overflow so that's just a ridiculous amount of overflow um with his uh skill two mog dance he gets 10 percent more brave gain and that brave gain can now overflow up to 10 percent uh cat says ex now gives him 10 percent more brave damage and 30 percent more overflow and his Brave Attack Plus and his HP Attack Plus both do 20% more Brave Damage. Which on the HP Attack is pretty nice because that batteries the party based off HP Damage dealt. So the more damage he's doing with that, the better he's parting the battery. But overall, he's still lackluster. Now, with... Tifa, she gets 10% max brave. Her Zengen Wei buff gives her 10% more attack and 10% 10 10 more attack with Fever Time active. Then with Beat Rush, she gains a total of 30% more damage, 30% more overflow, and 10% more brave gain, uh, more battery to herself whenever she uses that skill. With their skill 2, she gains... 30% more brave and the brave can overflow 30% of max which is just ridiculous I did not notice that when I boarded her and because I've been using her for the current content then with her EX it does 10% or 30% more brave damage and 30% more overflow and then her HP and or her HP attack and her brave plus plus and HP plus plus uh all get a 20% boost in damage which the her skill too oh my gosh that's ridiculous like I didn't notice that it was overflowing just because I wasn't exactly hitting cap whenever I was using it because she was usually at zero brave when I was using it so but it, it still 
gets her maxed out, um, if not close. So, wow. That's just ridiculous that that goes over 30%. All right. Moving on to my least favorite character in the Final Fantasy series, or at least one of them, uh, Steiner whose own chivalry buff uh, gives him 10% tack and 10% more max brave, which max brave is really, really good for him. Um, and then the, with the captain of the Knights Pluto, it gives the party 5% more brave. That's just from buffs alone. That's, that's crazy. And then with his skill one, he gains 30% more damage from him, uh, 30% more overflow and 10% more crit. With this skill 2, he gains 30% more brave damage. 10% of that can overflow. Uh, 10% more crit brave damage. And then, because that move does battery the party, that can overflow up to 10%, which is just nutty. Alright, and then with his EX, 15% more brave damage, 10%... Uh, overflow and then 5% of the brave gain of that can overflow as well and then his brave plus plus and HP plus plus gets 20% more damage and for a character I don't like a lot he is a pretty decent battery I mean he's not the best out there but he will keep your party with uh, enough brave so that they won't get broken and he hits decently hard too, which uh, that's really tough for me to to say because I do not like Steiner. All right, moving on though to Oren, who gets his EX realization and his character board. So his buffs gives him a temp twenty percent more attack and then a ten percent more max brave. His skill one gains. 30% more brave damage and 15% of that can overflow. Um, with his skill 2, he gains 30% more brave damage, 40% if he's hitting weakness, which with his melee resist down should always be active. And then that brave can overflow up to 15%. As well, and then when it's EX, it gets a total of 15% more brave damage and 15% more overflow. And his brave attack plus uh, gets 20% more brave damage on it, with his HP plus getting 10% more brave damage, which is pretty powerful. His HP plus is pretty strong, it's like an AoE single target attack with splash. It's it's a ridiculous. Ridiculous. You can do a pretty good amount of damage with that. Like Orn with his EX, because I did 3 3 him, is is a pretty good damage dealer now. Um, and I highly recommend him for the Soul Cannon Challenge Quest. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, he's just going to hit like a truck, and it doesn't hurt that he has delay either. And finally, Squall. Um, his solitary line buff gets the whopping 20% eye brave and 10% attack. And then Lionheart at three stacks gets 10% attack and max brave. Uh, his skill one gets 20% more brave damage and 20% more overflow. Um, his skill two gets 30% damage if it's the plus version. Which it should always be the plus version with his, especially if you have his LD. If not, just start with this skill one. Um, and 20% more overflow, which is the which was a huge problem for Renzo Kukin, was it had no overflow. And now it does, just from boards. Even if you don't have the LD, you can give Squall some overflow. Uh, his EX does 30% more brave damage and 30% more overflow. And his HP plus and brave plus do 20 and 10% more brave damage respectively. And for those of you who got his LD, this is what you can expect in the future as the JP side of things uh, hit us with another board for the LD weapons, which 
is 15% more brave damage, 25% more brave damage to a single target with 15% more overflow, and is brave in HP plus plus get 10% more brave damage. And on the right side, this is an extend um, extension for Squall's LD Rough Divide, which gives it 80% more potency, 20% HP damage. Um, he now starts the quest with eight turns Roaring Hammer uh, with one stack. And then after HP attack, he does a follow up attack, which consists of a five hit Brave plus HP attack with 120% overflow, 50% splash, and 60 Brave uh, percent Brave damage to a single target, which is just absolutely insane <laughs> so um yeah uh, just reading that it, it just gets me excited for character boards and and um definitely gonna hold on to some points i'm i'm gonna build up to a certain point and just not go below a certain threshold but uh with all of these characters they are just absolutely ridiculous with their character boards i mean they give them so much and the main reason why i'm doing this series is to talk about character boards because yeah everybody's like yeah they got the boards they'll hit harder yeah we all know that but you know i'm one of those people like what does it do exactly and i know i can't be the only one that is like that so so i decided to put these videos together starting off with this massive um video is just whoo six characters that was a lot to talk about that was a lot to get through and you know with this being the first series there might be changes as we move forward better flow better everything you know um so definitely down there in the comments let me know how i can present this information uh better to you and big thanks to rim and the the city of database for all the information and a special thanks to toku bob who translated all the stuff from the database so uh thank you guys for all the information i do hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned a lot more about the characters and whether or not uh, you actually want to spend character board or training board points on these characters. And please do not forget to subscribe and set that notification bell to all. And I'll see you later, gamers. <laughs>